Yes, it is the prelude to the suite number one by Johann Sebastian Bach for unaccompanied violoncelle, presumably for the cello. And it's a wonderful piece and a selection of suites, or six of them, because we get to enjoy a lot of cello technique as we learn some beautiful music. It is by far the most famous piece ever written for cello, and you will be expected by your family and friends to play this one day. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the technique. First, let's start with you downloading the partition that's linked in the description below. I'm gonna put it right here, and let's begin. The more important thing that you need to look at here is how you place your fingers prior to every single down bow you make. Every down bow that you make in this very beginning phrasing must be done as if you're playing a chord. I mean, playing all three notes at the same time that are highlighted in green. The very first three notes are the zero, zero, one. And instead of waiting to place the one down, you press the one and then you draw across three strings. If you notice in the top left corner of the partition, you see a bracket and a star saying, warm up your down bow. Every time we see that bracket, we're going to warm up our down bow. And if you look at the bottom of the first page of this partition, you will notice that you must allow time for the left hand fingers to press down and hold the string before the bow makes contact through each legato. And so we're going to start with our warm ups. The first three notes, it's in the first measure. The next three notes are zero, one, two. You place them down, push them down before you even draw the down bow. The next warm up for our down bow is in measure three. We place the third finger down in this position here and we draw the bow across, placing all fingers down so you can make a chord, but with the bow. This is essential to the technique of playing Baroque cello. The next warm up we have is in measure four. It's a four and a one, and you do this with your fingers here. You must arch your fingers nice to play this. So make sure you're not playing like this. Those of you that play with your arm like this, that's terrible technique. You must play with your arm out. You must have your fingers arched so the fat on the inside of your fingers do not touch the A string or any open string. Let's go on to the next warm up, which is in measure five. It's a bar one, one, zero, one, one. The next warm up is in bar six which shifting up to what I call upper second position, two on the four, put your third finger on the C sharp and put your second finger on the G. Draw the bow. The next warm up is in measure eight. We're remaining there in the upper second position and replacing the one as a bar across. Again, playing all three notes, draw the bow. Remain in position for that and through measure nine, you see the orange bracket. And then it goes to first position, nothing important. Let's continue on to measure 12. It's a four, one, zero in first position. Four on the C, one on the E. The next warm up is in measure 15. Two on the four, but we're on the G and C string. Three on the F sharp, two on the C. Draw the bow. Measure 16 follows with the same fingering, three, two, but use an open G, dropping the three and then a two. Let us continue measure 20, half position on the C string, minus one, bar the two and a four. One of the more tricky fingerings in the piece. You, sometimes you'll see people play the one and then shift up, it is more smooth to remain in half position and then shift after the legato. Play all four of them down and then three on and up. Then you'll slide up four, one, three, four, and then repeat that. Now let's talk about the fingerings. 
in the first two lines, all here in the first position. Let's look at the end of measure four, there's an F sharp. Please play that note and play it correctly. It's a leading tone. And then we go into our first shift, which is here in measure, end of measure five. We're starting three, zero, three, one, three. And so make sure you play that. And what position is this? The upper second position. Check out the video. I believe there's a tag I put right there. And check that out if you do not know what the upper second position is. I'm going to start at the end, last four notes of measure five. <laughs> And then you go back to first position. And then shifting back up, we did the warm up bar one, one, two. Beginning of measure nine, remain there. Shift back, do an extension, and continue in first position. We're going back a little bit to measure six. Use the open A. You don't want to do this this sort of stuff here, play the four. Why? Because it's the character of the piece. I'll play the difference for you. I'll play with the, with the four on the A and then I'll play with the open A. Then I'll play with the open A. It adds a little bit more flavor to the piece. Let's go forward into measure 11. <laughs> 